The latest NOAA data, published April 2022, shows a dramatic projective fall in temperatures across the United States over the next century. The trend has taken place since the December 2015 Paris Agreement and is much greater than the previously recorded milder increase in temperature. The importance of this trend since the Paris Agreement of 2015 cannot be overemphasized. Quite simply, it means that enormous decisions were taken based on the existing data at that time, but those decisions may well have been radically different if they had been aware of the latest trend in global average temperature, and in particular that of the remarkable trend being shown in the United States. The data at this time is especially important as the Paris Agreement itself recognised the importance of having regular reviews every five years or so. So this review, taken after six years, is very relevant. Let's go to the NOAA data. We start with the period leading up to the Paris Agreement. This NOAA graph shows the US average temperature anomalies from 1895 to December 2015. It shows a temperature trend over that period of plus 1.37 degrees Fahrenheit per century. This was known to the members of the Paris Agreement. What they did not know was what happened next from January 2016 right up to March 2022. The NOAA dataset shows a temperature trend for the United States over that period of minus 41.11 degrees Fahrenheit per century. Now, if you find this unbelievable, you are not alone. We reasoned that the first few months of 2022 had been perhaps unusually cold and it might be more balanced to omit the past three months of 2022 and just look at the complete years 2016 to 2021. This indeed did reduce the trend. The data for the United States now showed a temperature trend over that period of minus 9.43 degrees Fahrenheit per century. But even this reduced figure would reverse any increase seen since 1895 and would potentially plunge the United States into an extremely cold period. So, we decided to download the data and obtain an independent trend calculation. This is the raw data for 2016 to 2021. The red line is the trend. The calculated trend is minus 0 0.98 degrees Fahrenheit per century. Just about the same as the NOAA calculation. And this negative trend is significantly greater than the projected rise of about 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit made by the Paris Agreement climate models. But it is the prediction of these climate models that provided the rationale for the Paris Agreement to give financing to developing countries to mitigate climate change, strengthen resilience and enhance abilities to adapt to climate impacts. And that is why the IMF are providing a new 650 billion US dollars allocation of special drawing rights. And it's why we are going to meet the targets to provide 100 billion US dollars of climate finance to developing countries. So it was proclaimed during the COP26 Finance Day speech. And where does the IMF get this 650 billion US dollars of money. Resources for IMF loans to its members on non-consensual terms are provided by member countries, primarily through their payment of quotas. In other words, the money comes from you, the taxpayer. 
Based on this timely review, it is essential that the net zero financial commitments made by the IMF, the United States and the nations of the West at COP26 must be urgently challenged. The politicians of the West are urged to rethink their net zero strategies. And President Joe Biden and the US climate envoy John Kerry must order a review of the Paris Agreement and the United States strategy on energy supply. This community combines the topics of climate change, COVID-19 and the new world order. If you would like to join our community, you can find us on locals.com. The new world order. This link will take you directly to our site.